This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, and verse 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone, like a great millstone, and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, and shall be found no more at all. Double honors are definitely due unto the venerable apostles, elders, and bishops of the great millstone. I don't want to say salutations, peace, and blessings to the most high powers elect to buy after without a house of David. I'm Shamar with the Men of Valley South Carolina camp. Just here to do a, a quick hitter. Okay, going into uh, Revelation chapter 18 and verse 21. You know, and basically, you know, this great millstone, you know, that's going to hit Babylon the Great, you know, it represents the ICBMs, all right, the intercontinental ballistic missiles. All right, and Babylon. You know, which has done much violence. All right, the virgin daughter of Babylon, which is linked to Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, beginning with the Amalekites, Jewish international bankers. All right, because of the violence that's been done, you know, by Babylon, all right, primarily to you tribes, all right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners. Okay, because of that violence that's been done to you as the Lord's people, that's how this place is going to go out, man, violently. All right, at the same way the Lord destroyed the earth in the ancient world with that flood, all right, which is the first death, okay? You know, it was because the earth was filled with violence. If you go into Genesis, the sixth chapter, you know, the Lord talks about how the earth was filled with violence, man, all right? So he ended it, you know, violently, man, because you, can you imagine a flood covering the whole face of the earth, you know, all the all the carnage and and, 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 and destruction, you know, the tumult. All right, hey, that was a, that that was a, hey, yeah, the, hey, the Lord's not playing, man. You know, He only saved eight souls alive. You know, during that time, you know, Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth and their wives. Everyone else was destroyed violently, man. All right, because why? Because the earth had become filled with violence, man. Because you know, again, you go back to Genesis the sixth chapter. It talks about how, you know, man's heart was only evil. You know, the thoughts and intentions of his heart or imaginations of his heart, and I'm loosely paraphrasing it, was only evil continually. All right? So the Lord flooded the earth, man. And he's going to he's gonna uh, 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 destroy Babylon the Great completely. You know, the scripture says this place is going to be made into a lake of fire and become wholly desolate, you know, be a desert. Where no man shall ever uh, 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 dwell in this place again. All right? Because why? Because the one who is in rulership, okay, Esau, Edom, has done much violence throughout this earth, man. You know? He's done much violence throughout this earth. And again, that violence has been done toward you tribes, man. All right? For the most part. You know, that's why the Lord is so angry, man. You know, you touch the apple of the Lord's eye. Okay, so now it's time for him to deal violently with you. All right? Hey, the scripture says, you know, that God, the most high power Yahweh, is not mocked. All right, Galatians 6 and 7. You know, and you and you reap what you sow, man. So if all you do is sow on wickedness and violence, you know, and murder, you're going to be taken out that way, man. You know? But you laid your hands on the children of Israel, man. That's why the Lord is coming back to do this, man, to bring this great destruction. All right. Let's see. Let me get a couple quick precepts. What I did was um, I thought I had it pulled up. But it's all right. I can do it again. I typed in violence into the um, blue letter. And, you know, there's lots of precepts you can go into. Well, here's one I, I, I loosely paraphrased earlier in in the video i'll just read it real quick genesis chapter 6 and verse 13 and the powers okay allah all right that's the hebrew word there allah and, and the powers said unto noah the end of all flesh is come before me for the earth is filled with violence through them behold i will destroy them with the earth okay and it's not going to be any different this time around man you know history repeats itself okay no new thing under the sun the second death however, will be via fire, okay? 
And this is the book of Joel, chapter 3, and verse 19. It says, Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. That's right, man. A America, the virgin daughter of Babylon, linked to Esau Edom, is going to be a desolate wilderness. All right, once again, because of the nuclear destruction that's coming, and because the chariots are going to be firing laser beams on this damn place, man. It says, For the violence against the children of Judah, because they have shed innocent blood in their land. You know, and it's not just, you know, the tribe of Judah. All right, it's talking about all the tribes. Because violence has been done to all the tribes, man, over here in the Americas over the last 500 years. And all throughout the various uh, captivities. Uh, but primarily what's happened in the uh, so-called Americas, man. Hey, Esau has shed innocent blood here, man, and done violent, violence against the children of the Lord, man. All right? Hey, so, so what is he going to do? He's going to hey, he's going to destroy this place with violence, man. Violently take this place out. All right. Obadiah chapter one and verse 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee and thou shalt be cut off forever. See, the Edomites are going to be cut off forever, man. After a thousand years of hardcore slavery. All right. Hey, they're going to be burned up, man. OK. Put out of the earth, man. OK, totally destroyed. OK, why? Because, again, they did violence to the children of Israel, man. You know, and all the nations are complicit in uh, you Israelites' destruction, in the destruction of you tribes. Okay, but if you read Psalms, the 83rd chapter, Esau is the number one offender, man. Okay? Um. Yep, here we go. Here we go with another one. Uh, Micah chapter 2 and verse 2. And they covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. Yeah, man, because they covet fields. They take them by violence, man. Esau Edom's a covetous man, you know, and, it, and his eyes never satisfied. Okay? He wants it all, man. And if, and, if, and if you don't capitulate and you don't give in, he just takes it by force, man. You know? That's his modus operandi. That's what he, that's what he does, man. You know? You look at what he's done in the so-called Middle East over the last 20 years. You know, he wants those oil fields. He wants those, you know, oil fields in the so-called Middle East. So he, what does he do? He sends in his military, man. You know, creates a boogeyman, you know, cr you know, creates a, a, a Al-Qaeda, a so-called Muslim threat. So he's justified. Okay. And then, and then he goes in again with his military and just takes over, man, by force. Same thing he did in Afghanistan because he got opium over there in Afghanistan and other resources, you know. But yeah, man, he covets fields and takes them by violence, man. He coveted the Americas. And he took them from the northern tribes who were over here, who were already over here. He took them from them violently, man. Okay? Yeah, man. So that's why that's why this place is going to be destroyed. You know, with violence. All right? Matthew chapter 11, verse 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence. And the violent take it by force. That's right. And the kingdom of heaven, all right, the third temple that's being built up right now is you tribes, man. Okay? And it says the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence. And the violent take it by force. Look at what happened, you know, to the southern kingdom in uh, 70 AD. You know? That their land was taken, you know, because uh, Judah, primarily it was Judah, Levi, and Benjamin in the land at that time. And what did uh, Titus and Vespasian come in and do? They came in. Uh, and and, and, and uh, 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 took Jerusalem by force, man. Okay? And shed a lot of blood. All right? And it's been that way up until the present time we're in right now. This is the violent take it by force. That's why, let's go back to um, Revelation 18. That's why Babylon the Great is going to be thrown down violently, man. All right? I'm going to read uh, read it one more time and then close it up. This is uh, Revelation chapter 18 and verse 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. Yeah, man, that's what's coming, man. Your destruction to Babylon the great. I don't want to write this out. You edify through the spirit, Lord willing. And with that, I want to say shalom.